Better than 94,000 fans on hand this afternoon as Penn State, now a member of the Big Ten Conference, will kick it off. Brett Conway, the freshman from Lilburn, Georgia, will send it to David Dotson and Ken Grace. Back deep for Southern Cal, and the kick goes out of bounds. Rob Johnson, the starting quarterback. See what he's done so far this year. Five touchdowns and 75% of his passes have been completed. The rest of the backs and receiver, Morton, 15 catches last week. Grace, the junior college transfer, fan of the tight end. Dotson and Struther, the running backs. Up front, and this is where they get it done at USC. Vaselli, Ramsey, Gibson, Polak, and Garrido. Joel Chrisman, the starting left guard, injured his foot will not play today and Ramsey in there to take his place first and 10 from the 35 yard line Dotson's got it around the left side and he is stuck behind the line of scrimmage three yards on the loss right there and let's check out that Nittany Lion defense Tyoka Jackson Eric Clare Lou Ben Fatty Jackson and Ben Fatty the veterans up front Ravani Gelsheiser Monahan and Holmberg the backers for Penn State the secondary Hammonds Pittman Bonna and Lee Rubin. Derek Bonna, the hero back in Joe Paterno's three years in college football in Robinson and Paterno. On second and 17, pass thrown down the middle. The intended receiver, Tyler Cashman, passes, but they gave up nearly 500 yards in passing to Tim Shea. Third down and 17, 28 yard line. Just underway from Happy Valley. Johnson with all day. Ben Fatty giving chase. And Johnson does the smart thing there and runs out of bounds at the 25 of receiver. Stonehouse back at the 10 to punt it. Bobby Ingram at the 30. Oh, is he stuck at the 34-yard line? The Lions have a first and 10, 35-yard line. That's Stephen Pitts, the ball carrier. They use three tailbacks in this Penn State offense. Let's check the starting lineup, Ingram and Chip LeBarc of the wide receivers. Brady's the tight end. Archie and Whitman. The other tailbacks, we want to tell you about Kajana Carter and Stephen Pitts, who you just saw carry the ball. Up front for Penn State. Their offensive line, Pickett, Malinowski, Greeley, Hardings, and Rivera. That's the Penn State offense. Second down and six from the 39. Lone setback is Kajana Carter. That's LeBarc of the motion man. Saka intercepted. Picked off by number 18, Jason Seahorn. And Seahorn across midfield to the 49-yard line, his second interception of the year. And Southern Cal first and 10 from the 49-yard line. And Dotson. Dotson's got some room. He's down to the 35-yard line. Dotson again. No room there. It's going to be a loss of about five yards. 97, Tioka Jackson. The senior, left tackle. For the night shot, watch him. He's shifting to the outside. He's lined up over the tackle. He goes to the tight end. That's Bradford Banta who's got to take him. Banta does not get the man. You see that Jackson got the inside. He's in the ball game now. Third and 12, Southern Cal, 59% on third down situations. And Johnson was nailed, 16. Brian Gelsheiser, the sophomore from Pittsburgh, who made 10 tackles last week against Minnesota, came busting in and nailed Johnson. As you watch Gelshauser come in, number 16, on the blitz, keep in mind, this is the same defense that gave up close to 600 yards on offense in Minnesota the last Minnesota week. So passing attack that they could get those kind of yards. Four snaps, Stonehouse is able to hit a line drive. And I'll tell you what, he did a terrific job. That football is going to be out of bounds. It's second and 10, 13-yard line. Second man through is Kajana Carter. Ryan O'Neill as much as possible. On third and six, Saka is nailed from behind, and yeah, it's Willie McGinnis. 35-yard line. Ryan Lenderman is checked into the game to the near side of wide receiver, and Dotson goes absolutely nowhere. Behind the line of scrimmage, Rob Holmberg. Third down and 12 from the 39-yard line. 8.42 to go first quarter. Johnson throws it away, intercepted. Ben Fatty has it at the 45 to the 40-yard line. Lou Ben Fatty. Johnson, he's got the screen. Watch him right here. He knows it's a busted play. It's a bad thing to do. Yet, he still continues to go with the play. He gets the pressure. He the 42-yard line. That was Justin Williams in motion. And they'll come this way with Stephen Pitts. Pitts leans forward to the 35 Might have been in the pit, in the end zone. Third down and four, and Saka attempted to get it. 
to number two to ten from the 20 yard line. Dotson will bust it up the middle again. If we're watching how long he can take the hit. That's why they plan on utilizing several people at that tailback position. On third and three, Johnson hangs tough in the pocket, and he has his tight end, Bradford Banta. First quarter. Three wide receivers for the Trojans as Johnson will go far side intended receiver Johnny Morton. Now watch a little game on the inside. He loops inside, nails Johnson at the ball. Did not get the completion. John Stonehouse had a school record 80 punts last year, so he was a busy guy. And he sends this. Oh, and that'll be a face mask. The penalty marker goes. First and 10, 41 yard line. Kajana Carter, the lone setback, and he gets the football, got some room. And Kajana Carter up near midfield to the 49 yard line. Kajana Carter one more time. He's got the first down to the 47 down and 13 last week against Minnesota. Penn State only 25% on third down situations, and they'll swing it out to the Far side, the receiver Brian O'Neill averaged 35.8 yards per punt in 92. So far this year, 38 yards a kick. That's a nice high punt, fair catch being called. It gets a Penn State bounce, and they will down it at the three-yard line. Wow. Coming to their ball game, the defense had some question marks, but both defenses are playing great football. Less than two minutes to go, first quarter. Third down and six. Johnson. Smart move that time, and he takes the sack. He moved it up. And the pressure. He's looking to his left. He's looking for a receiver. You know what he's doing right there, Roger? He's staring down the receiver. He brought all the coverage. That I thought I was going to die. I almost couldn't get up. That's like a pitcher throwing a high heart when the guy that's hit a home run. The last at bat is Saka in trouble on third and four. And Saka down to the 27-yard line. That'd be a duo, wouldn't it? Oh, it would have been tough. Second and eight. Mike Archie, look at him run. Archie down to the 10-yard line. He's just 5'8", but he weighs 200 pounds. And he, well, according to some locals, psychology today said it's one of the easiest places to live in the country. Maybe true. Huh? I watched Saka at practice in goal line situations from the 10. He's got great patience. If he throws the football, he'll wait for linebackers to overrun the play and hit people underneath. First and 10 from the 11-yard line as they give it to Mike Archie. He is a strong look at back, still on his feet. And actually, third down and three from the four-yard line. Sack it to keep it and to throw it. Touchdown! And it was Mike Archie who did it all on that drive. Of the play, and he charges the quarterback. See Archie? He slipped in right underneath him. That's the man who's supposed to be covering the lead. Southern down seven to nothing. Lynn Swan back with you. Mike Archie, who was the only Penn State player a year ago to score by the rush, by a return, and by a reception, got the touchdown pass from Johnson, Texas Tech. Johnson just one of seven so far passing today for eight yards. Down the middle, Morton's got it. Johnny Morton with the catch at the 44 so yard. Third down and eight at the 41 yard line of Penn State. Down the middle. Got the receiver, Banna. Not enough for the first down. There's one. Temple didn't beat them. BC only beat them twice. Maryland didn't beat them. So some people think of Penn State in great games. You think of Nebraska, Notre Dame, and Alabama. Third and 10 from the 20. Intercepted. Picked off by number 24, Mike Salmon. Can he make it? They signal he is out inside the one yard. The running backs. Johnson, touchdown. Gibson, Ramsey, Pollard. Those players don't necessarily fit into his scheme. Beautiful throw right there to Bobby Ingram. And he is pushed out of bounds at the 41-yard line by Jason Oliver. 37 yards on the quick hitter from John Saka. Last week, Jason Seahorn, number 18, is on man-to-man -man coverage, and he gives away the inside. Big mistake by Seahorn in his alignment. Catch. Ingram in his four touchdowns, all four of them were different where he runs with the football. He made a tough catch on the sideline. Another he made. 10, coming 41 yard line. Penn State's Mike Archie for a good looking back right there as he gets it to the 35 yard line. Last week he only had 27 yards on eight carries as LaBarca gets it on the end around. And LaBarca gets the first down inside the 30. John Whitman in at fullback, and he leads the way as 
Kajana Carter gets down inside the track. Makes some pretty good linebackers at both schools. On a third one. And the first down at seven. Mike Archie gets it. Finds the right side, and Archie will drive it down to the five-yard line. Close to the first seven yards. Third and one. And busting it up the middle. Brian O'Neill was wide open, running through that hole. 6'1", 230, the senior from Cincinnati. And take a look at disease. You see him in motion there? He kicks out right there. Look at the hole he opens to the inside. You drive a truck through that hole. Milne is the 1993 team's undefeated in the Big Ten, and everybody is anticipating it's going to be one of the big showdowns, but they get another one. Johnson. Nowhere to go in the backfield. Absolutely nowhere to go as seven. Johnson. He's going to have to run with it, and he is chased out of bounds. Terry Killens, 92. The NFL, the NFL combined back in 67. I'll get back to that in a second as Ingram takes it on a similar play to the first play. I'll turn around. Third down and two. Pitts close to the first down, and he's going into scoring position. First attempt from the 41. Sack of the throw downfield. He's got his tight end, Kyle Brady. Big junior from New Cumberland, Pennsylvania, 11 yards on the pitch end, 36-yard line. Pitts, the left side, breaks a tackle. Pitts gets down to the 31-yard yeah. line. <laughs> that be more part of it. Well, I was glad to have you running the ball in Pittsburgh, Franco, believe me. Archie breaks another tackle, and this guy's been Second great. Three. Second and 10 from the 21, and Kajana Carter outside, inside the 10 to the 9-yard line, and Penn State controlling the line of scrimmage right now. 13 yards on the pickup. <laughs> Touchdown, Penn State, Brian O'Neill for the second time today. Just rolling through, they, won, they run away from 55 McGinnis, who doesn't have the speed to catch up. They seal down on the inside. Let's see, now playing safety. You see McGinnis, number 55, giving chase. Great wall of blue jerseys. Pickett, who plays tackle, move him to the right side, and he had been playing. Trails Penn State by a couple of touchdowns as Johnson goes down the middle to his tight end. Bradford has it. On a third, 15, Jackson got a hand on Rob Johnson, and back at the 40-yard line, the defense does the job. Tioka Jackson. He had nagging injuries in 1992. Decided 83, 93 was going to They would play again next year. Originally, an eight-game series had been scheduled, but the final four games canceled because of Penn State's move to the Big Ten. The pass to Johnny Morton. Morton inside the 40 to the 37-yard line. Malcolm Forbes was on the cover. First and 10, 36-yard line. Dotson, the ball carrier, inside the back. And you will fire under your chair. Second and nine. Struther stopped initially, keeps his feet. Deion Struther loses the football. Penn State's got it. Penn State's got it at the 10-yard line. Number 35, Derek Bonner came up with the football. Then running into his own people, maintaining his balance. But then just falls short as it's stripped away by Brian Gelteiser, number 16, from Baldwin, Pennsylvania, going to use him against him. 36. Saka eludes the sack. Can he get away from this tackle? No way. Well, and again, it's not from Billy McGinnis. Masella back in the end zone to punt it. And Seahorn, good punt, takes it at the 45. And gets it back to one of nine on third down situations. They've missed their last six as Johnson is nailed from behind by Lou Benfatti. If you watch Rob Johnson looking for his, looking for the receiver, Benfatti just makes a great move to the inside as he beats Cal. They just continue to send their kids to Penn State to play for them. For Penn State, they're happy running the football. That's Carter. And he's got the first rushes, 74 yards on first down. 
They'll give it to Mike Archie. And Archie is caught and brought down at the 25-yard line. 54 yards on the pickup, and it was Mike Salmon who came from half. They sealed down. They misdirect the defensive line. They get everybody going inside. Then they just turn the corner. They get good blocking downfield on the defensive backs. And the rest is history. Freddie Scott, number 31 so far in the first ball game. O'Neal inside the 15 to the 14 through. They need to give him some opportunities also to perform in this ball game. John Carter inside the five. Loose ball. Loose ball. Southern Cal signaling they've got it. Carter fumbled the ball at the five-yard line. That's O'Neal. Cuts it up. Knocked back. O'Neal again. O'Neal leans. Very close. A little more off tackle to try and get into the end zone. Third and goal from inside the run. O'Neal again. No. No, should have. They're up by two touchdowns. Fayak had a tough game against Minnesota. LaBarca will hold it. No good. No good. Johnson, 8 of 21 with an interception on second and 10, and he throws it to the near side, and there's no go right there for Deion Strutter, as that was Cliff Dingle, the man that just... Johnson with room to the right. He tells Banner to get him a block. Johnson can't get there. As Ingram back inside the 25, and Stonehouse with an end-over-end -end kick as Ingram comes to the 30. Bounces off one tackle and is able to get to the 42 yards. Second and 10. And Pitts. I'll tell you what, every one of these running backs, yeah, Pitts, every one of these running backs has done a terrific job. Hits again. Does a terrific job staying on his feet as he gets to the 45-yard line. As we come down to the end of the third quarter at uh, Beaver Stadium in State College, Pennsylvania will return with more action between Southern Cal and Penn State after this message and a word from our ABC stations. For a few moments uh, as we take you on through Penn State now, third and five. And get a couple. Good job. Will punt it from just inside the on the fourth down and four. Tries to pooch it down there. Was able to uh, get it inside the five once before. Not that time. Third down and ten for Southern Cal. Johnson flushed out of the pocket. Still on his feet. Throws downfield. Terrific catch made by guess who? Johnny Morton. I think that's been the difference, especially earlier in the game when they were struggling. Third and six. The pass completed. Once again, the freshman John Arney throughout the season. First and ten. Southern Cal. Johnson pressured and dumped. Few men were in there. 94 Ravati, one of the players, and also Eric Clare, number 89. Sack. They rush in the lanes. Nobody's, they're collapsing the blocking. Look, straight rush inside. He tries to move to the outside, but right there the net for Penn State, who gained 200 yards against Boston, but preferred to play on defense. Third and 15, and Rob Johnson one more time is brought down. Ben Fatty, 55, Claire, 89, and Rafati, 94. You see Baselli up kind of high, trying to push this man to the outside, and pressing him. Johnson. Beaver Stadium, 9.53 left to go, and Penn State leads Southern Cal, 21-7. The uh, report on Mike Archie is he's got a bruised thigh. So what do they do? They just put Stephen Pitts in there, and he gets you about five or six across the... Mike, Mike Archie. Archie is catching a few Z's while he rests that uh, sore leg. As Pitts takes it on third down and one, and he gets trapped behind the line of scrimmage. And Penn State will have to punt. The half they tell is on the rushing side for Penn State, where they've dominated the defensive line of USC. The half it doesn't tell is the dominance of their defensive line. Rob Johnson throws it to call it a short two. They'll run it up the middle, and they've got it. Third down and three. Intended receiver was 88, Edward Hervey. The penalty marker goes to skills. Last week, he ran a 67. Oh, now they... 
529 left to go. Rob Johnson. Can he find Johnny Morton? He's looking for him. He throws it down there. Got it. 31 yard line, first and 10. Throw it quickly to Kenny Grace. Cuts it back to the middle. Grace still going. He's got a seam. Kenny Grace will go. Oh, the way. Touchdown, Southern Cal. 30 yards on the kick. Has not passed for any yards at all this half because they've been able to run the football with Kajana Carter just like that. First down. Third down and seven. John Saka wants to throw straight downfield. In between two receivers, Bobby Ingram and Chip LaBarca, and Penn State will have to punt it with 321 left to go. Now whether they go for one or two, if they should score. Priscilla to punt it. Seahorn to receive it at the 27-yard line. Cannot get outside, and he is dropped at the 30 million. 311 left to go. Penn State leads Southern Cal 21-14. The Trojans with two timeouts remaining. Rob Johnson throws as he's going down. Strother makes the catch. 235. They'll swing it out. Dotson out of bounds, and he got that at the 41-yard line. Johnson got his receiver, Kenny Grace. Grace across the scramble because of the pressure. Third down and 17. 150 left to go. Johnson eludes a tackle from behind. He's got his man. First down, Southern Cal, the catch made by Edward Hervey. Out of 94,000 plus at Beaver Stadium. Second and three, just over a minute to go. Strether, he'll turn it up. He's got the first down. Strether to the 21 yard, first and 10. Rob Johnson looking to the far side. Martin, yes, yes, he made the catch at the two yard line. Johnny, first and goal from the two yard line for the Trojans of SC and the pass. And the touchdown, the touchdown catch Johnny made by 87, Johnny McWilliams, his first reception of the day. And now the question for Southern Cal with 37 seconds to go. Do you go for two? Do you kick the extra point? Missed it. And now Southern Cal has their offensive team on the field. This is what John Robbins is talking about, the tradition of Southern California trying to bring it back, making the gutsy call. Sitting here in hostile territory, facing a good Penn State football team, but he's saying we came here to win the football game, not to go home with a tie. If he pulls this off, there's going to be celebration in Southern California for the decision and the score. SC going for the win. The pass. Tyler Cashman. No. But there's there's certainly the no flag. good. And there's a flag down on the near side. There is a flag down on the near side. Johnny McWilliams, the intended receiver. Johnny McWilliams, who caught the touchdown pass just a moment ago. And this is just the same sort of play, Lynn. Looks like about the same play. He's coming out to the outside. You see the ball just, the ball is just low. Oh, that's close. That is close. But 37 seconds left to go. It's got to go 10 yards. It's loose. And Penn State got it. And that's one of the things that a McFadden could bring to the table, unfortunately, out with the injury. And Penn State basically playing mistake-free football for the most part today, establishing a running game with both uh, Archie and Carter over 100 yards on the ground today, and their fullback O'Neal with a couple of touchdowns. And Joe Paterno gets himself a big victory. Our Chevy players of the game today for Penn State University, running back Mike Archie with 108 yards rushing, and for the University of Southern California, Rob Johnson, who threw for 296 yards and two touchdowns. For Lynn Swan, I'm Roger Twadell. Final score, Penn State 21, the University of Southern California 20. Thanks so much for being with us, and we will see you next Saturday.